how are you? How's your day going? And all that fun stuff. I, um, I am so excited because today I am preparing carne adobada. Red chili, New Mexico red chili carne adobada. I'm actually using the last of my uh, red chili from last year's. So anyway, so I um, I said I need to, I wanted to make it. So I thought, well, you know what? I think I'll go ahead and make it with all of you. I have my chili soaking. It's already soaking. I've already rinsed it once and um, and stuff. See, I'm right here. Hello. Welcome to Margaret's Kitchen, Comidas de Mi Familia, De Sangres De Sangre, my authentic New Mexico cookbook. Now, today's recipe, you will find it in my cookbook and stuff. So remember, Margaret's Kitchen NM on YouTube. You guys can watch all my videos. And then you don't forget, you can purchase my cookbook on nmcookbookmariabaca.com or you can go to my Amazon shops. It's amazon.com slash shops slash Maria Baca, and you can find my cookbook, Comidas de Mi Familia, Tu Sangre Es Tu Sangre. Anyways, I am, I am so excited because, you know, I've been wanting to make carne al to put in the freezer and stuff, so that's what I'm doing today. And, you know, I have a bad habit. I never wear an apron. Very seldom do I wear aprons and, um, and stuff, but anyways, but it's okay. I'm not a messy cook, I don't think. But anyway, so I have, this meat's already all cut like this. Can you believe they, they called this uh, country style ribs at, the, at Albertsons? So anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I have two bags of this, have my bowl, have my other little bowl for whatever um, fat is left over with meat and stuff, cause that way I'll, I'll use it to make some chicharrones and stuff so anyways i have my red chili soaking as soon as we're done cutting the meat then i will show you the red chili so anyways when i am making um this is a little small but most of the time i was taking that little piece of bone off so anyway so usually what i do i cut them about like this and then i cut them again cut it one more time and a lot of times i leave my carne al de this big and stuff because you know meat shrinks and stuff and I don't always take out all the all the fat either because you I don't like dry carne al devada so anyways um and sometimes it's dry and I don't like it so I leave a little bit of a little bit of fat and stuff on it so it, it's okay you know I mean um we all you know I have fat on me so <laughs> can't just take it off you know and stuff that's enough for us to to squeeze right but anyways um i just think that's kind of funny but anyways um so i just cut it like that and stuff and this is really just for the freezer i'm just going to put it in the freezer i would have made it today made some today but i'm actually doing a zoom class this afternoon and i'm teaching see see this fat i'm going to take it off and see, there's still carne and stuff on it. So I just kind of cut it like this, and I'll throw it in my in my other bowl and stuff. So that way you use that for chicharrones. So anyways, I'm doing a Zoom class this afternoon, and I'm really excited about it. Um, it's for veteran caregivers. And so my friend, um, another caregiver from El Paso, her name is Nelida, Nelida, um lazoya lois and she's a heck of a, of an advocate a caregiver advocate she's just amazing so anyway so she asked if i would you know she could talk to me and she wants to just know my story they want to know my story and so she said can you cook can you cook something i go sure so of course everybody a lot of people have heard my story about my my chingaderas which are chilequeles but I didn't know the name. I didn't know how to pronounce it back in um, 1979. And uh, well, actually like 1980, I did not know how to pronounce it. So it was kind of funny and stuff. And so it, it, it stayed a standing joke with my family, especially my mom and my dad. I mean, it was, it was just funny, you know, and I, and a lot of people have heard the story before and, and stuff. So, 
um, I didn't know how to say it. My friend Juanita Ayala at the time, um, she made them. And um, so it was so funny because um, I told my mom and dad, you know, I was talking to them on the phone and I said, oh my God, she made like this most amazing meal. I go, they look like enchiladas, but it really wasn't enchiladas. And so I go, but I don't know how, I don't know what she said. So my dad says, well, just say what you think she said. I go, all right. So I did. So I told him, I go, they sound like chingaderas. Oh, my parents, they just could not stop laughing. See, this is all the fat. I'm going to save this for chicharrones. I'll just put it in the freezer. So anyways, oh, my dad couldn't stop laughing. My mom couldn't stop laughing. So, you know, so it's always been a standing, um, you know, basically a standing joke, you know. So anyways, um, my friend... Uh, Juanita, what happened is I finally asked her, I go, I said, hey, can you teach me how to make the chingaderas that you made? <laughs> she said, what? I go, you know, the ones that kind of look like enchiladas. And she says, not chingaderas, they're called chilequeles. And, but she said it so fast, I didn't know what she said. Hey, I was only, what, 19 at the time and stuff. I, I just didn't know. I was a, a young wife. I didn't know. So anyways, and I didn't know Spanish, you know, and she was from Laredo, Texas. And so, um, so her Spanish is, you know, Mexican Spanish and is different from New Mexico slang. And so it was hilarious, you know. So it's always just been a, a joke. But anyway, so that's what I'm doing this afternoon. So I'm really excited. So I said, well, in the meantime, I'm going to do this and, and I'm going to, you know, put this for the freezer and stuff. And so, you know, it's nice because then you guys can watch me how I do it and stuff. And so um, my friend Moni in uh, Belen, the very first time I showed the carne al nevada and, you know, how it came out and stuff, she says, I just have to have your recipe. I have to have your recipe. And so, you know, so now she makes it. And she just loves it, you know, she just loves it and stuff. So that's exciting for me, you know, that, you know, I, I can inspire people and I enjoy that and stuff. And so I enjoy inspiring people and stuff. And so especially with my cooking, you know, I was talking to my uncle last night and he tells me, you know, I watched your entire video, which is new for my uncle because my uncle was never on on Facebook. I got him on Facebook a while back and because I would show him pictures like of his grandkids and you know just pictures in general. And so anyway, so he wanted to see the pictures. So I said, "Well, let's put you on Facebook." So I got him on Facebook and stuff. So now he's on Facebook and oh, I get a kick out of him cuz he told me last night he says I watched the entire video. I go, you did? And he said, yes, I did. You know, my uncle is, oh my God, he is everything to me. He truly, truly is. You know, that's my dad's um, youngest brother. And my dad had several brothers, but you know, they're all gone. And my uncle, my uncle Steven's the only one we have left. And so I, um, I try to always, I, I'm very close to him. He's very close to us, and I'm very close to him, period. And so um, so I'm glad that I was able to get him on Facebook because he was able to see something different, you know. So on his Facebook page, he really just has his just family. He doesn't have a lot of other people or nothing like that, you know, and stuff. So it's been nice. But, yeah, so it really that, that really touched my heart when he said he watched it all and stuff. And he says... He goes, the thing about it is, he goes, you know how you can talk. He goes, you don't run out of things to say. And I was like, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, you know. But um, it, it's good. Like I said, I enjoy cooking. When I want to cook, I'll cook. When I don't, I want I want to go out to eat. I want to go out to eat, you know, something good. And, um, and not necessarily, you know, Spanish food. Um, so it, you know. We all, all, all of us moms and spouses, we want to go out to eat, you know, we want to, we want to pamper ourselves and we want to go out to eat 
and we don't just want to go have a burger sometimes you know sometimes we just want to go have a nice go to red lobster and stuff and so that's how i feel anyways but anyways so but this will be for the freezer and um which is good because you know i'll take it out and you know we'll have it uh, sometime you know and if not i usually give it away i'm always giving it away here you know take some you know the other day my cousin uh, she's my she's my second cousin i just love her to death her name's booba well trish i'm sorry her name is trish but we've always called her booba and um anyways i had made the green chili egg rolls and and stuff and i told her come get them i you know what there's plenty come and get them so she was all happy, you know, coming for them. And then uh, my granddaughter, uh, her boyfriend, I had made that salsa the other day, that really hot salsa. So I had told him, come pick it up, you know. So I gave him all the salsa too. So anyways, I like to share, you know. The one thing about it is I do enjoy sharing my food and stuff. So um, no reason to be, to be stingy, right? and um and stuff but anyway so as i'm cutting this so let me tell you how i do my my red chili like i said we have dry new mexico pots and um and it's from my father-in-law's garden and his our garden and also his best friend's garden they all blessed me with red chili last year and um so anyway so what we do is uh, my mom you know we learn you learn from your your mothers your grandmothers on how to make New Mexico red chili, everybody has a different recipe. But the one thing I can tell you that you will not find in my authentic New Mexico dishes, you'll never find uh, cumin. That is not something that my mother ever used uh, for chili. My mother never used chicken broth or beef broth or anything like that. Uh, my mother just used clean, clean uh, water and, um, and stuff, clean water, garlic, you know, and if she had the fresh garlic, it was great. If she didn't, um, she would uh, use powder and stuff. And so, um, see, I have my other bag, but anyway, so she, um, so you learn, you know, like I say, you learn from your mothers. You learn from, you know, the person that taught you to help to teach you to cook. So my grandmothers were, were all cooks. You know, we were raised around my dad's family. So we got to see a lot of, my dad's mom cook, my dad's sister-in-law's cook, you know, of course my mother, you know. And um, so we, um, so we grew up around all that. My great tias and everybody, you know, everyone cooked. And I don't remember anybody using cumin, so, or chicken broth or anything like that, or the same water that you boil, you uh, clean your chili in. So that was just us, you know? I don't cut what anybody else does. This is something that I was raised on how I cook, is how I was raised and stuff. And so anyway, so, so it's just plain. So what I do, I'm almost done cutting all this. This is a there was a lot of a lot of fat, so I guess we're gonna have a lot of chicharrones, and um, you know I enjoy making my dad's chicharrones. I love making daddy's chicharrones. Um, I am so blessed. I am so grateful that the last three months of my dad's life in 2014, I actually videotaped my dad teaching me his method of chicharrones and how he made them and so um so i'm i feel so blessed that i always have that as my as my go-to you know and i'm excited about that and i i just feel blessed you know um my uncle said i heard you talk i heard you talking about your dad you know and stuff and i do i talk about my dad all the time you know he is he is one person that I miss dearly, dearly. I miss him so much. I miss his wisdom. I miss his no-nonsense attitude. He never had time for rubbish, which um, reminds me so much of my granddaughter, Ireland. 
she doesn't have time for rubbish you know and that's how that's basically how my dad was my dad was very much the same way he hated gossip he hated uh oh he couldn't stand liars um instigators and liars they those were his biggest things he couldn't handle that you know but you know he just taught us you know he taught me you know he just taught me the value of family the value of being around family and sometimes you can't be around family but he also taught me that it was okay you know it was okay never forget who you are never forget where you came from and always be the bigger person always be the bigger person it doesn't matter that was his favorite thing to say it doesn't matter be the bigger person and you know what and that's my life that's what i try to do and i am so grateful because i have a husband that adored my father for one and but my husband is the same way you know just the same way you know he's an encourager always an encourager you know he doesn't say anything ill about no one you know he is just an encourager if he you know if there's something negative going on my husband he just does he's an encourager he encourages he never never um encourages bad it's always it's okay we got this you know it's okay you know and um so my um my husband truly lives by tu sangre es tu sangre, you know, and I love that. My dad taught me that. He taught me, your blood is your blood, meaning that's your family. No matter what, anywhere you go, you have your sangre in you. You cannot erase who you are in your life. You can't, you know, you just can't, you know, it's, it's there and, and it's okay. You know, it's all good, you know. Um, we are all different like my dad would always say even my mother always said it too as my five fingers are different so are all my children and stuff but I love them all the same that's my dad that was his biggest thing you know so anyways the last three months of my dad's life oh him and I just we talked about everything even more than what we normally did because we always talked about everything you know I loved family history. Oh, I could listen to him for hours about the family history, you know, and just who we are, who we, you know, where we came from, you know, just everything, you know, and, um, and stuff. And so, um, he used to love to say he loved his mother's fried chicken. He, she's, he always said she made the best fried chicken. Nobody could beat his mom's fried chicken. And, um, and stuff so you know that's kind of, you know that's to me that's that's what I grew up with you know I grew up with the knowledge of of just family and stuff you know just always family and so and it's good yesterday um I spent the whole day with my girls with my daughters Victoria and Rachel and and our grand my granddaughter Ireland and oh we had a wonderful time you know, it was so, it was just nice. We laughed, we, you know, we just pampered ourselves. You know, we went and we went and we all had lunch at, at the Cheesecake Factory. And then from there, we went and had pedicures. And then Mijita had to have her boba. And oh my God, we had a wonderful time. Just a wonderful time. And you know, I'm just so blessed. You know, I have good daughters and I'm so blessed with my girls. You know, they're no pushovers, those girls. You know, they are, they're hard workers. They just, you know, and um, it's, you know, I'm just, I'm blessed. I'm blessed with my girls, you know, and they help us, you know. I mean, they're always ready to help their dad, especially their dad, knowing that he's so sick, you know, and there's days he just can't even move, you know, but he gets out there and, the girls come, the, our son-in-laws come, our grandchildren come. They encourage him, and before you know it, they got, he's doing stuff with them or whatever, you know, or, or supervising, you know. But he's there with them, you know, and that's like we had our outside of our house painted, and our kids were pretty much, you don't need to pay nobody. We got it, you know. So our, grands, our grandsons, our granddaughter, our son-in-laws, our daughters, 
Oh my God, you know, and both of them are not 100%. Victoria just went through malignant cancer and um, she's on a year now after her surgery and we pray every day that she stays in remission and, and stuff. And so, but are you kidding? That didn't stop my babies. That did not stop my, my Hita from getting on that ladder or, or just helping, you know. And then my Rachel, you know, she has really bad RA. But guess what? She was on the ladder. She was painting. You know, all of them, you know, just all of them. Just, it took them, you know, a, a couple of days. But guess what? They did it, you know, and they did. They just, they just helped their dad. You know, they helped me. They helped their dad. I didn't do painting. I cook. Rachel one day came in. She goes, uh, it'd be nice if you came out and maybe helped us a little bit. And I was just like, if I go out there, who's going to cook? Okay, never mind. She went outside. You know, so it was hilarious. It was just funny, you know. But it was just, you know, all in, all in fun at the same time. And, you know, we, um, you know, it's just, um, family, familia, you know, it, it's your familia, you know, God blesses you with, with your beautiful family and you, you should treasure it. You treasure your family, you know, treasure those kids, your children, you know, I don't care how old we are, you know, my dad, oh my God, you know, I don't care how old I am. I, if I needed daddy, daddy was there in a heartbeat, you know, no matter what. Sometimes I had to hear a lecture about something. It was good. It was all good. I don't, never got hurt, never got wounded. I just, I am so, so grateful I had a father that just loved his family, loved us, you know. And so him gone has been a, has been a big void in our, in, in my life, you know, and, um, and stuff, a big void. And so it's, you know, it's a tough one. You know, it's, it's always a tough situation. But anyway, so I finished making that. So now I finished cutting up all the meat and, um, and stuff. So let me wash my hands real quick. And so then what we're gonna do is, it's gonna get loud for a little bit. So don't, um, don't be afraid. Somebody said, do you have to turn on the blender? Well, yes. What else do you want me to do? So anyways, I'm going to fill my this measuring cup up. This is four cups of water. And like I said, it's clean water. So I'm going to put this here. Let me wipe this a little bit with my napkin. And then... Uh, what I'm going to do, let me wipe that again, put this over there. I can get off my stool now and put it away. Woohoo! Hey, if I wasn't doing chilaquiles this afternoon, this is what I'd be eating. No, we can't. I like to marinate it overnight and stuff before I cook it. But anyway, so... Here's my carne, which isn't a whole lot. And then here's the, the fat. So what I'm going to do is, so here's the, see, here's all the, the chili. You know what? Let me uh, bring it over here so you guys can see, see the chili and what I'm doing. Hold on. So as you can see, I am, um, so it's clean water and stuff. This is just all that. And so now I'm gonna drain it. So I'm gonna drain it. Okay. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in my blender. And I use a KitchenAid blender. So that's two good, good scoopers there. A little bit more. Okay, now we're gonna go back. And I'm gonna put you guys back here. And make 
make sure that I okay so anyway so this is a how many cups is my blender many ounces I should say oh 56 ounces so anyway so I put it in here and then I'm gonna get I'm gonna use garlic powder today so I'm just gonna it's about a ah, teaspoon and a half okay and it's a garlic powder I'm gonna use a little about the same amount of oregano a teaspoon and then the salt and then here's four cups of water Perfect. And then I'll put the lid on it. I was telling my mother, let me get another four cups. I was telling my mother-in-law the other day, because I've never strained my chili. My mom never strained her chili either. So we've always had really good blenders. It's all in your blender. My mom used to always say, it's in your blender. If you have a good blender, you shouldn't have to strain your chili but some people do strain their chili and that's not saying anything I mean it's okay you know like I said it is how you learned and stuff and so anyways um, so it's gonna get loud so sorry Just beautiful. Look at this. Just perfect, perfect.
That looks good. Nice. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe my blender a little bit. I don't know what came off. Hmm. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, look. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect. Look at this. And you want it to have extra chili because you don't ever want it to be dry. Mix it really well. Really, really well. So then, when you're ready to cook it, Let me put just a ton of water in here because I want to clean it. So I'm going to use my, my spoon. It's easier just to bring it up. Look at this. And that's all you do. That is it. And then you get it. Which I'm going to let it sit for just a few little bit. And then I'll put it in the freezer. Put it in my Ziploc bags. And um, this will be just two Ziploc, two gallon Ziploc bags. And, um, and stuff. So there it is. So whenever we're ready to cook it, it's here. It's ready. And that's it. So... What you guys think? That was quick, huh? Anyways, let me bring it closer so you can get a better look. So here it is. So this is all my carne aldevada. And it's with my, our New Mexico red chili. And this is the end of last year's crop. So there's very few uh, houses in New Mexico that you'll go into that you don't find the end of last year's crop and waiting for this year's crop. But anyway, so you know what, you guys? Thank you so much for joining me on, you know, Comidas de Mi Familia, Margaret's Kitchen. Don't forget to, you can get my, you know, order my New Mexico cookbook at www.nmcookbookmariabaca.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up on YouTube. My channel is Margaret's Kitchen NM for New Mexico. Anyways, um, but we're we're done, yay, and stuff. So I'll do the rest of the, the red chili, but I just wanted, you know, to show you guys how I do everything and stuff. Hey, don't forget to do your squats, squats squats <laughs> we gotta exercise anyways uh, i'm trying but anyways don't forget you know margaret's kitchen thank you comidas de mi familia tu sangre es tu sangre if you haven't gotten my cookbook you can purchase it on my website nmcookbookmariabaca.com or on my amazon amazon.com backslash shop backslash mariabaca comidas de mi familia tu sangre es tu sangre this recipe and many others, including the chicharrones, are in my authentic New Mexico cookbook. Thank you. God bless you all. Love you all. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.